Okay, this is a little lesson on a tune called Furry's Warm-Up Blues and we're in open G tuning but I'm tuned a half step higher than the standard open G tuning. So we have a D sharp, a G sharp, another D sharp, another G sharp, a C and a D sharp. So um, I'll go over the tune, oh, yeah, for, um, I forgot to say you can download the tab for free at my website, there's a link in the video description. So let's go over the tune slowly. string and you, you have to know how to mute also with your right hand because if you play it like this it sounds a bit boring so if you accent the second and the fourth beat and you use a bit of muting with your right hand to palm of your hand here resting on the strings after you've hit them like this so one two three four And the second and the fourth beat you can hit harder and so you will hit, be hitting the fourth, the third and maybe even the second string. Okay, then there are a lot of improvisation uh, possibilities here. For example, the third measure, when we go to the fifth fret, that's what tapped out. But you can play any combination, as long as you keep the bass going, of course, but any combination on the bottom three strings. So there's a lot of possibilities there. And the same goes for measure 7 and 8 when we go to the 7th fret. This is what is tapped out. So again you can play any combination of the bottom 3 strings and keep the bass going. And in the 4th beat of the 7th measure we have a double, uh, a double thump bass. So instead of playing a melody note I'm playing another bass note. Like that. And you can use that throughout the song, uh, you will hear that uh, uh, also in the performance video. I'll give you some examples. So you can and you see that the, uh, after you use the double bass, the beat after that it doesn't have a bass, like in the 7 and 8 uh, measure. That's what we're in out. Okay, then um, also I should say this song I'm using muting with my index finger after the slide and sometimes I use it and sometimes I don't. It's really up to you what, which sound you like the best and I'll give you an example of what it is with or without muting. This is muting of course, you lightly touch the uh, first string with your index and now with the slide. Sounds really pure and clean and without muting, so no finger is touching after the slide. You get all those, well, unwanted noise is not, not exactly what it is, but... You get a different sound. And you will notice that in the, B, in the measures 13 and 14 I never used the muting. Because, well, it's part of the, the melody, I think. 
I'll play that measure 13 and 14. <laughs> We need those pull-offs to get the melody notes. And I just like to, well I see there's a little mistake in the tap, well it's a one note omitted, in the 14th measure we're going and then we have a bass and you should add the open first string. Okay, then we have the B section. I didn't tap that out because one's well, not difficult. And it starts with these notes are fingered, and you can play also like this. And then slide. And we have eight beats on the fifth fret. And again, you can use any combination with the bottom three strings and keep the bass going. You can also add, for example, a little uh, double thumbing. We have eight beats of open, keep the bass going, and we have a little hammer on and a pull off, or just a hammer on is also good. Okay, I play it in context. And then it's simply, or, and then we have four beats on the fifth fret, but only the first string. And then we're simply going to the sixth measure, the song resumes. And well, that's about it. I'll play that B section one more time slowly. That's it, um, this is a nice little tune to improvise on and to have fun with.